we can't put a number on the amount of times people we know have lost all their photos, contacts, messages, and all other data because their iPhone was lost or stolen and they didn't have their iPhone backed up. Backing up with iCloud is the best option since it happens automatically. When you sign up for an iCloud account for an iPhone, you have the choice of enabling iCloud backup, but some users decide not to and completely forget about it. To make sure iCloud backup is enabled, go to your settings, tap on your name, and tap iCloud. You'll instantly see all the apps that are using iCloud. Swipe down, tap on iCloud backup, and enable it. Your iPhone will now automatically back up whenever your phone is plugged into a power source, you're connected to Wi-Fi, and your screen is locked. You can choose to manually back up your phone whenever you want by tapping Backup Now. This is useful if you've just purchased a new iPhone and want to make sure all of your data is up to date before making the switch. The issue that many users will have is when their iCloud storage is maxed out and there's no room for a backup. Apple gives you 5 gigabytes of iCloud storage by default, but it's honestly not enough, especially if you love taking photos. When that happens, it may be time to consider upgrading your iCloud storage plan. At the top of the iCloud settings page, tap Manage Storage, then tap Change Storage Plan. In the US, a 50 gigabyte plan is only a dollar per month, but if you choose a 200 gigabyte plan for $3 a month, you can share those 200 gigs with up to six family members by tapping Share with Family within the iCloud storage setting. If you've already upgraded your iCloud storage and you've found a way to max it out, you may still not have enough storage left for an iCloud backup. Head back to the iCloud storage page and you'll see what's using up all your iCloud data. If your photos are using up the majority of your storage, it may be time to go in and start deleting old photos, like those multiple attempts at the perfect bathroom selfie. Videos actually take up much more storage than photos, so you should start with the longest videos you've recorded. If you're reluctant to delete anything at all off your iPhone, you can back up your photos to your Mac or PC using iTunes. Click the card above to see how it's done. Once you've done that, you can feel free to delete as many old photos as you want, knowing that they're safely stored on your computer. If you have an iPhone 7 or newer and are running iOS 11, you can enable high efficiency camera capture by heading to Settings, Camera, Formats, and tapping High Efficiency. Doing this will make your photos and videos use up less space. Once you have enough storage space, you can choose to manually back up your iPhone to iCloud or wait for it to automatically back up if it's enabled. This is Vadim with Apple Insider. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.